Kevin from Pork Pie Hatters. Today we're going to uh, shape this hat. We're going to do some crown shapings today. Now, uh, I'm sure you guys know there are different types of shapings for the top of the hat. It's called the crown of the hat. This is the brim. This is the crown. Uh, right now, this crown is totally popped open just like a bubble. We call this open crown. Okay, it's got no shape. Now, generally, when a hat comes to you, it has a crease like that center crease and two pinches in the front okay on the, each side just like that all right uh, see the pinches there on each side center crease so when you want to uh, shape your hat to a teardrop it's basically a modified uh, version of this here so you can start with the center crease and then turn it to a teardrop or you can open it all up and just start from scratch just open it Okay. Uh, I would say if it's a really good center crease, it's symmetrical and it just looks right, you could start from there. If not, I'd like to start from scratch. I open it up like this and I steam it. And then what I do is I put it on my little hat form here. This is an old antique hat stretcher. But I just spin it around and kind of pat it on there. And what that does is it gets rid of all the creases and it makes the hat perfectly round. So I'm getting rid of all the little dents abnormalities in the roundness, the spherical, cylindrical shape of the hat. I want it to be nice and even all the way around, so I'm kind of spinning it here on my little shape. This is an essential piece of equipment for me, this round uh, hat stretcher. Uh, I, it's basically just a cylinder, and I use it for shaping. Now, as you can see, my hat is pretty round, okay? There are no real creases in there. I like to start from scratch, okay? Now, um, what we're going to do first to start with the teardrop is we're going to make a center crease, okay? I like to make a nice, fresh center crease. So what I'm doing is that I'm steaming it up and down the center here, okay? Before you make any kind of creases, you always steam it first. The hat should be moist and warm with the uh, steam. Otherwise, when you make creases, they're going to look just kind of wrinkly and they're not going to look right. So first, steam it, soften it up, make sure you get everywhere that's going to be creased. Soak it. Okay, and then what I do is I put it down, and I start in the center, and I crease it end to end with my thumbs. I kind of start in the middle, and I crease outwards, okay? And I hold it like this, and I look at it from a, a bird's eye view, and I stick my hands inside the hat, and I just neaten things up. I make sure it's symmetrical. In this case, I did a good job, you can see. It's fairly symmetrical. Okay, but you could go inside like this, kind of, you know open and do things with your hands just to neaten that up and correct any mistakes that you might have made. Okay, after I make that teardrop, I mean that uh, center crease, I'm hitting it with a little bit more steam. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is the back of the teardrop. Okay, so here's the back of the hat. That's the bow is the back behind your head area. Okay, I'm going to take the back of the teardrop and see if you can see what I'm doing to the back of the hat now. I'm flattening it, okay? Something like this here. Okay. So what I'm doing from the back, it's kind of like a U. So I use my fingers. I got that down from the back of the hat. Here's the bird's eye view. It's already kind of like a teardrop. So what I want, I want to do is look at it, and I, I don't want it to be a perfectly flat line there's kind of like a, a U, like a smile shape to the back of that teardrop. I like to give it a little bit of a smile, but I make sure that she's symmetrical. Okay, by looking at the back, okay, it looks okay. I don't want it too low, but I don't want it too high. The back of the teardrop is always lower than the front of the hat. It should dip down like a slant, like a slouch. After I do that, I get that little teardrop. I, put, I like to soak it with some more steam. Okay, I'm soaking it right in the center of that teardrop, getting it all soaked through. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to place it right onto this steel form that I have here. You could use anything that looks like this. Uh, these are the best. They've got them on eBay. They're called uh, antique or vintage hat stretchers. Look for vintage hat stretchers or steel hat stretchers. Some of them heat up. This one doesn't stretch and it doesn't heat up. I just use it as a form. I keep it closed. It doesn't spread open ever. Okay, now I'm going to take the hat. I'm going to put it right on top and I'm going to push down. So I got a little bubble coming up. Okay, I'm also taking my fingers and I'm enhancing that little smile 
the teardrop. So I'm making this very smooth with my fingers. I'm using two fingers, kind of like, like this, while it's wet. So that little, right now it's an upside down smile, so it's neat. And that little bubble is what I just made with my steel form. I'm going to go back again, and I'm pressing down the hat, raising that bubble up. I also want it not just in the back, I want it to go to the front of the hat too. I want this to come up. So I'm going to take my fingers inside the hat. And look at I'm doing, I'm raising it up. So it's a true little teardrop on the inside. I'm going to go right back onto the form now, hit it with some steam first, stick it on the form. I'm going to bring the two fronts point closer, kind of like a letter V or a letter A. And I'm pinching those two creases nice and tight. Okay. This and this. I want those to be nice and tight, so I do something like this. While it's still wet, I give it a good pinch. Give that a good pinch. A lot of pressure I'm putting on there. So now I've got a good definition on those two. See, it's like a letter V there. Okay. So that's essentially a teardrop. Now we're getting, we worked on the back of the teardrop, okay? We've got a good slope. You see how it slopes down towards the back of the hat? Now we work on the front. The front is still a little, it's not defined. So when we snap this down, we want that front to have a nice appearance. So I'm going to go ahead and hand shape it and do something like this so I got a nice kind of a triangle shape, but I don't want to do that without steam. So first I'll hit it with steam. Because remember, if you're making any kind of creases, you want to use steam first. Otherwise, you're not getting smooth lines. You get kind of wrinkles and stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. My fingers are inside the hat. I've got two fingers right in the center of the pinch there. Right in there are my two fingers. Now look what I'm doing here. Spreading that out like this. So I have this sort of triangle. Okay, so I essentially just tapered the front. I narrowed it. I narrowed it with my two fingers right in there. You could have one finger. I like two fingers, okay? Now, here's the front. What I like to do sometimes is uh, lower the crown. If you like to lower it, what you do is you start right here, and you just get rid of that. You just lower it right in the center. See if you could watch me do it. I'm going to lower the crown just a little bit now. Okay. Go ahead and sculpt it a little. Make sure it's symmetrical. Give it a good pinch. Crown is a little lower now. Okay. Here's the side profile. Slouching down towards the back. Now as far as that inside some customers need a lot of depth, so you have to bring this little bubble here up. You need to bring it nice and high so that the customer has enough depth and enough roof, uh, enough clearance on the roof of the hat. Sometimes if you're tall, you just need it, all right? So the idea is you're bringing down the crown in the front. It looks low, but you have depth. You've got room with that little bubble. There's a little place for your head to sit. So I'm hitting everything with a little bit more steam now. Gonna hit that part on the top of the little bubble with some steam. I'm gonna take my finger and just press that center up because I want to give it more depth. And you want that bubble to look pretty too. So you sculpt it, you make it smooth, symmetrical, and it should just look graceful. So speaking of graceful, what I like to do now is just take this line, this whole teardrop shape, and just give it some some grace, basically. I, I want it to look smooth. Some people like a very hand-shaped kind of un, unsmooth look. I like it to look, like I said, polished and very just graceful looking. It still has the beauty of a hand-shaped hat, but, you know, a little panache, a little style. So what I do is I hit it with steam. Okay, what I'm doing now, pinching those two front pinches again on top just to get them tight, one smooth motion. And now here, that smile in the back of the hat, I do something like this. One very smooth motion. So, like I said, it's a graceful looking line. Okay, I think that's pretty good. 
the rest we could uh, we could adjust later. We could lower the front of the crown. If you want to lower it, you lower it right here. You just tuck it into itself right there. Let's let's put it on and see how it looks. Yeah, that, that's cool. I think it's cool. All right, here's your teardrop.